Hey yo. We're checking out this game. It's called Loop Town. You may have heard of Loop Hero. But this is Loop Town. I'm that monster in the center of the stream. I got killed by it in combat, and now I've become it. Rolling 20 coins. Oh, I died again. It's very quick when you die. Uh, how much money do I need? 320. No, thank you. Double check my reporting again. Alright, let's get back to the game. Alright. It sounds pretty empty so far. I'm hoping more stuff happens as I kill more dudes. But for now, let's walk up here and leave. Just need 320 more. Uh, 100 more. Die again. You can stop and pause the game. I don't know if I like that very much. It's like you turn off the physics processing every time you stop reading input. It's kind of strange. I think this is made in Unity, so... I assume it's seen, it has some similar facets of Godot. And then it's turning off the physics and then everything just freezes whenever you're not moving. New, new upgrade? I like that how it pops out. I wonder what they used to get that functionality. Also, you can, you'll can you notice that if I move up and... If I move diagonally, I move faster than going left or right. That usually happens if you're checking input four times and allow it to... Ha if both were true, then I'll move diagonally. Which is normally a good thing, but you want to normalize that. But anyway, I'm pretty powerful, you might notice. It's pretty cool. And then there's a tree stump, but I don't know what they're all about. There's just gonna be random scene decoration. I'm getting pretty close to killing the money I need. I think I'm just trying to move left and right now. What do you think the best movement pattern is for this game? Oh, there's a boss. I'm not going to of that. What is that? I don't know about the screen ending. It must be like a revolving screen. It generates behind you. I don't know if there's like a... The world will end behind you. So you don't want to go left and right. You want to go up. At all times. Uh-oh. They got to kill me last time. Uh oh I got distracted. Alright, let's get another coffee. I have to use the mouse for this, you can't use that, that key for this. I should try if my controller works. Uh, no, that, that one didn't work. The controller is falling. Nope, just arrow keys. Did I get, did I get that coffee? Oh, it's... For some reason it didn't cost me anything last time or something. Alright, let's get more money. Yeah, I swear I had 3 and 20 and now it didn't cost me anything to buy coffee. I'm dying again. Let's talk to this guy again. Hello, comrade. It is very good here in, in Soviet loot town. Time is of the essence. Uh oh, I pressed a button and now I'm frozen. Right, well, frozen is not the right word. I was like running forward while I was not being able to control it. Like a caps lock in Minecraft. Yeah, I'm killing a lot. But I should always be moving forward, so I should just ignore all this and keep going forward. But let's see if I can. If there's like a blank spot up ahead, does it sc the world scroll with me? And how does it send them do it, I wonder? Do they spawn at the edge of the screen and move across? Left or right? That'd be one way of doing it. Oh, there's a boss behind me. 
there's one box down. Let's keep going. So I get 640. Upgrade? I don't know what if that keeps going up or what. I feel more powerful. By increment. Oh, it's that boss again. Shells. Baddies. They don't, they're just staying in place and wait for you to walk into them. That guy was a suicide squad, they nearly got me. They're running really fast now. Let me go back and get that money. Diagonal shot, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go in di diagonal so it's faster, but it's more dangerous. It seems endless, but I'm sure there's an end somewhere. Oh, there's a new boss. Pick up his knife. It's a pretty dangerous for walking diagonally, but I have diagonal shot, so that's fine. Huh. Just normalize those vectors, dude. You don't want to be able to move faster diagonally. Unless you count that as a sprint. If that's the sprint, then that's pretty cheap. This game feels like a combination of cheap and expensive. Like, this tracking on these bullets is amazing. That's like finding bicycle level tracking. I wonder what they use. Oh god, I pressed that button again. I think I'm pushing... I pushed this button that I never use ever. ever. What's it called? It's got an image of a, like a menu. I never press that button. I never, I kind of ignore it. It's right between Alt and Control. Oh, I died. And I don't have enough money. Let's explore the town a bit. Nothing. This game could have promise. It's a game jam game, so... I'm gonna just run real fast. Alright, that didn't work. Not getting much money, but I am going pretty fast. I wanna see if I can outrun the level. Probably not. Probably you can generate as fast as you can run. That's pretty much the goal of any other game. Oh, I died. 640, huh? I'm not getting that much gold anymore. Here's a bunch of money. Uh oh. Luckily, they don't move faster than you, so they don't rush past you. What if the bolts go off screen or not? Alright, let me check my recording again. It's always good luck to check your recording. I'm at 8 minutes. I don't know if I want to record that long, but... Diagonal she upgrade. And then board she upgrade. No upgrade? Two more upgrades? Yeah, that upgrade thing is pretty handy. I bet that's a unity asset. Oh, let's kill this guy. You think that's a unity asset? I really think that's a unity asset. Notification system? It feels a lot cleaner than most of the rest of this game. I feel like this is built with unity assets. It's not a bad thing, it's just... For game jam, you're pretty much free reign to make whatever you want. As long as you're not, like, pirating assets. Pretty sure that one to fly. Yeah, let's leave that. That guy's gone. 
I think it's really designed to just eat your bullets and what enemies run past. Alright, I got 640. Let's see how far I can go. I want to see the new enemy types as we go. I wonder what the maximum coffee is. I like this model much more than the regular player model. Oh, I nearly died there. I nearly ran into me. And the way that instant death when the enemy hits you is kind of reminding me of my first game jam game I made. That's kind of the same for that game. No health bars, just you die instantly in the moment. You get a poison box on the enemy. Or a hurt box. Sometimes you use a collision box, sometimes you use a separate collision for an enemy. Yeah, I want Nan. Alright, what do you say? Thanks for having a great day. But I keep my money. Nan coffee is not... It's not costing me anything, so... It's actually kind of cool. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just like a milestone you have to climb over. It's not really like a payment. Now I need another 400 or something like that. Alright, I don't feel like I'm getting much more powerful. And I don't think you can win this game. I'm just gonna run forward until I die. Just wanna do the slice. Maybe I can get pretty far. I'm not paying much money doing this though. Those shadow bolts are pretty cool. Oh, there goes that guy. The shadow bolts are gonna focus on that guy. Me and the other guys are gonna get past. I think backward shots. Backward shots would be amazing. Alright, come on, new enemies. I wanna see something new. Oh, maybe win the game. I'd like to win the game. Oh, what did I die from? I didn't see anything. I control that with the arrow keys, I don't want to use the mouse stick like that. Uh, let's try dying from one of these guys and see if we can unlock anything new. It's going to be pretty hard. I want to go die from one of those bosses. See if they can be added to my town. Now I don't want the backward shot. I'm gonna walk forward until I appear up. And then I might stop. Like, all the bullets stop the moment you stop walking. Look at that. This physics process can be turned off when you stop walking. Set physics process stop. I'm gonna pick up this juicy upgrade. But grass gets a bit grainy after a while. It needs a little bit of variation. Oh, there he is. I'm walking in. Alright, I died to him. Is he here? I oh, don't know. I don't want to leave the loop down. There used to be a big black box that you can walk into to go back to the town. Where is it? Am I just stuck? Is it loop in every direction? Let's run fast. 
Is it just an infinite world? Oh, there's a guy. I think they only spawn from certain directions, so they won't spawn behind me. Except for the bosses, they spawn behind you. Let's walk in there. I was hoping that guy would show up here. I have no idea what those big black boxes are. There's supposed to be a building there? I'm trying to get one more upgrade and then we'll call it. I mean, like 12,000. So, a long playthrough now. Okay, I think I've had enough. Loop Hero. No, not Loop Hero, Loop Town. Here's a much more interesting game. Huh. 